I want Zatari to have something that is unique, that utterly surprises the world. So when I look back and I think about where this started before I'd even heard the word Zatari, it was a project about a dress. dress was made out of a refugee tent which it turned out was from this camp uh, and has gone on to have a life of its own but it led it brought me here so the uh, role of UNHCR artist in residence came about it really as the culmination of two previous years of coming backwards and forwards to Zatari. I think calling it artist in residence allowed it to be quite open. Working in a place like Zatari, you have to be ready to respond to reality as it presents itself. There's something about being an artist that allows you to do that. One of the things people are quite suspicious of is that um, people from the West coming to a place like this to try and do good. But actually there are forms of equality that are possible, even though on, from the outside we look incredibly unequal. And I've experienced it in the process of making, so that if we're actually making something together, in that moment there's some equality just in the, the, the simple task that is at hand. So making is a very, very potent force here and a very, very potent tool. Part of the idea for creating the Made in Zatari Centre is to bring all the um, elements together in one place. Um, so as much about female empowerment as it is about advanced training. So in March, um, on International Women's Day, we opened up the centre. I think what the centre will go on to become in the end will be full of the unpredictable. But the initial idea was that it was a place to deliver advanced training. It was a place where women could begin to build a brand um, and uh, visualise what that brand might be and apply it to all different products. There is going to come a day when refugees are going to have to be, need to be t able to sustain themselves entirely on their own. So there's no point setting up a centre that just creates another type of dependency. And so the centre is a place to begin to incubate what all those business opportunities might be. It's also a place of bonding and safety, and it's also a place where being a mother and also aspiring to want to be able to have, run your own business, have your own enterprise, becomes possible. So the women, it's most important part of the community. It's the basic of the community. So you if empower the women, and you are build the community. When I talk with the ladies uh, about Made in Zatari, they always explain its place, uh, build the relationship, friendship, each other. We love each other. If have any ladies have a prob uh, problem, they are coming. مركز صنع في الزاوية بحسه جزء جزء مني لازم كل يوم إنه أزور هذا المكان إنه السيدات أشتغل معهم نساعد بعض يعني هون في إحنا مجموعة من هذا المركز إنه هو المطبخ الإنتاجي والتجميل وال والإكسسوارات هو كل سيدة عندها جزء يعني منها هون بهذا المركز من الجمع بيقعد مع بعض همومنا مع بعض منطور من شغلنا عن طريق بعض آه تمكين المرأة أسرع ببداية المكان المخيم كان التمكين كثير صعب لأنه السيدات تعاني من مشاكل الضغوط والمخيم وأشياء أما بهذا الوقت لا في سيدات ما شاء الله عليهم قدروا أنه يتحدوا هاي الظروف ومن يعني من عز الألم والتعب والضغط اللي عندهم صاروا هم سيدات لامعات وفعالات داخل المخيم
تمكين المرأة هي إنه جعل المرأة إن تقدر تكون مكتفية اجتماعيا واقتصاديا وعاطفيا لحيث إنها تقدر تواجه الحياة الصعبة أنا ممكن أضيف للمركز إنه لمسة إشي جديد مختلف عن الموجود بالمركز وأحاول إني مثلا إني أعلم الموجودين هون الرسم حابة الإشي وبالنسبة للمركز فهو كثير دعمني من هلا نفسيا فمثل مرأة ساعدتني نفسيا وقوتني شخصيا So before we we thought that we might develop a jewellery project, I had come across an artist called Tarek, who um, has been in the camp since it was first created. He started his life as a construction worker in Syria, but for all sorts of reasons, found himself carving pencils with a pin, and they are immensely beautiful. السنة أفضل سنة لها عبد الآن اشتغلت فيها أنجزت فيها أعمال جديدة غير أعمال الأمر الصاص اللي هي حفر على خشبة الهمر حفر على رشة الرسم وحفر على وشغل الجلد استشفارات الجلد تاج الحمد لله وأهم شيء هسا يعني إنه المعرض اللي صار بلندن هو أفضل إنتاج بالنسبة لي أنا حد الآن. نتاج إيجابية على عملي وعلى حالة النفسية يعني كانوا أعمالي هون بالمنطقة هي حد الآن ما ما لها ما لها إقبال زيادة مثل عندهم يعني. النفسية الحالة المادية أحيانا يعني الإنسان لما يكون ما في ما صار ما صار يضل نفسه محطم. ما في شيء اللي بدك يشتري شيء بدك يشتري أهم شيء المادي يعني صفر. بالحياة خصوصا الظروف صعبة يعني في المخيم. وما في وظيفة وما في عمل فاج صار في مردود من هالأعمال اللي عم بقوم فيها صارت يعني صارت تحسن من نفسيتي صار أقدر صار في صار في عندي مجال إني أبدأ أكثر إني أبحث عن شغل النتائج هسا المعرض إن شاء الله القائم بلندن نتائج كويس إن شاء الله نتمنى إنه تتوسع وفي كمان هسا مشروع عن تجربة يعني عملناها بخوات من ذهب وفضة اشتغلتها أنا وبلو طرق تصميمي وشو صناعة بلو ونعرض هسا كمان بسوق الانترنت وان شاء الله تنجح ونصير في تعاون بينه وبينهم المستقبل انا حاب اني اوصل للعالمية يعني وحاول اني اطلع شغلات جديدة واعمال جديدة دائما ابدا تحاول دائما اقدم شيء جديد So we've, we've got the first centre, which is in District 6 in Zatari, and um, we're now just starting a second centre. It could be that there might be a way for men and women to work um, alongside each other more in the second centre than there has been in the first centre. There's also a centre now uh, outside of camp. 87% of refugees don't live in camps, they live out in the urban areas. We have another, another uh, centre that's being set up right on the uh, Iraqi-Jordanian border. And so the lessons and the opportunities, as well as the challenges and, and the uh, learnings that, that we are developing here, need also to be taken outside of camp. Towards the end of this film, it feels like it should be less about my presence or, or, or even any of the collaborations, and more about handing it over entirely. It seemed to me that to see this place through the eyes of the people that live here is more important. Nobody ever asks the kind of film that the people that live here would like to have had made. It's clear there are many untold stories, and as we move forward into 2020, all these stories will begin to emerge.